And as the country gets closer to a mass vaccination effort, there are still questions about what that will look like here in Northeast Ohio. A short time ago, Andrew Horansky spoke with the chief operating officer at University Hospital's Cleveland Medical Center. And Drew, it's still not even clear when they'll get the vaccine. Lena, many questions, not when, how much, uh, questions such as when, how much they'll get or where it will even be sent here. And keep in mind, this was a system that played a big role in the Pfizer trials. Here's what we do know tonight. We know that Pfizer is recommending the drug for people ages 16 and older. And Pfizer has said the shipments will begin tomorrow with some locations receiving them as soon as Monday. Now, in our area, the governor has designated the clinic, Metro and Altman to be among the first 10 hospitals in the state to receive the vaccine, while for UH, it's still something of a mystery. They're expecting it soon, and of course, another big question tonight is who will be getting the vaccine first? Well, we know the CDC panel previously said they should go first to health care workers and the residents in long-term care facilities. UH intends to follow those guidelines, giving them first to those who work with COVID patients, but also those who come in greater contact with the public. Take a listen. Caregivers can look very different. Um, we are going to prioritize our caregivers based on their risk. And so if you think about um, employees who may be at risk, I mean, sometimes it isn't a COVID unit, but sometimes it's in a unit like the emergency department or labor and delivery or our front entrance screeners who are just exposed to lots and lots of people all day long. And so we really looked at all of the different roles across our health system. Um, and we have wanted to try to figure out which employees may be at the greatest risk and they will go first. And of course, to work around that, they'll need to know how many doses they have. So again, still many questions tonight. So what are the major drug chains such as Walgreens and CVS planning to do? They are preparing this weekend and we will pick up on that part of the story, Lena, tonight at 11.